production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. I'm so hungry. You know, Maddie, in some cultures, people don't eat with a fork and knife. Oh yeah, what do they use? They use their hands. Or their face. <laughs> Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Maddie. And I'm Taylor. <laughs> and today's show is all about food. Yep, we've got tons of good stuff on the menu board for tonight. So let's get started with a visit to a cheese puff factory Ooh. in this Friday Zone investigation. Hey guys, we're here in Indianapolis at the Mike Sells factory and today we're looking at how they make cheese puffs. Today we're here with Larry Orr. Larry, where are we at? What are we doing? Okay, we're at the vertical mixer and what we're doing here is we're taking cornmeal. We're going to add water to it, get a little moisture into that so we can get it hydrated up enough to send it through the extruders where it'll take that cornmeal and make a puff out of it. Larry, what is this machine doing here? This machine's called an extruder, and it's taking the cornmeal that's with water that's been added. The water's actually turned into steam, and there's a lot of pressure in this machine, so it's the difference in pressure inside the machine and in this room that causes the product to expand and puff up. They're all gonna convey into one central conveyor and then go into the oven for the baking process. The baking process is about a minute and a half at 350 degrees. Once it comes out of the oven, then it's ready for coating. The flavor is mixed in these kettles here, and it consists of canola oil, cheese, and a little salt. Get it all blended up and ready to go, and then we spray it on the product. The tumbler rotates and keeps the product moving uh, to try to keep the coating as even as possible throughout the process. The tumbler's job is to just make sure all that cheese gets evenly around every piece. That's right, and it's on its way to packaging at this point. There's a computer associated with this that decides which combination of these weigh heads gives us the weight that we want in the bag. So the weigh heads have just dropped their three ounces down this tube into the bagging area. Explain to me how this bagging area actually is working. Okay, we have what we call film stock. It comes across this former tube that, that actually forms the bag. There's heat seals on the bottom that make the bottom seal of the bag and a heat seal on the back that makes the back seal of the bag. And this is the end result. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Mark is here with a neat trick that will amaze your friends. You can make a cup out of paper. Start with a square piece of paper, fold it up into a triangle. Then fold one corner over, and then fold the other corner over. Fold the tops down, open it up, and you've made a cup. Amazing, a cup from paper. But don't take too long to drink, it gets soggy fast. Thanks, Mark. In the Friday zone, Friday. And coming up next, we've got some science, Taylor. Oh yeah, that's right. Our friends from the Terre Haute Children's Museum are here to do some really fun uh, food experiments. Mm -hmm. Not just any kind of food. Candy! Candy! Ah! Candy! Ah! Candy! All right. 
right, so while they get set up in here, you guys enjoy a song from our kindy mm. rock friends, Recess Monkey, on this Friday's own playlist. Cotton muffins with Mindy in the morning. That's me. Hi, welcome back to Cutting Muffins with Mindy. Today we welcome a very special guest all the way from Monkey Town, Mayor Monkey! Yay! Mayor Monkey! Oh, you look fantastic! Oh, oh, you look like you lost 40 pounds since I last saw you! You're so cute! Mayor Monkey, guess what we're going to be cooking today? Up a storm! Just kidding. Flapjacks! Flapjacks! Setting the table, I help carry the plates. Mom's watching the griddle, bubbles all over the cakes. Flip, 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 the batch is almost done. Heat the syrup up and cover up everyone. Here we go now, flapjacks. Can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks. Can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks. Can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks. Can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Daddy's drinking his coffee, radio's up high. Mama goes out to the driveway, bring the paper inside. We dig into our pancakes, showing all we can. If we're still feeling hungry, put some more in a pan. When I'm in the mood for my favorite food, when I'm in the mood for my favorite food, when I'm in the mood for my favorite food, gotta make some pancakes. Okay, Rainbow, now it's time to learn how to spell flapjacks. Everybody say F. Oop. Say F L. F O. Say F L A. F O A. Say F L A T. F O A T. J. J. Say J A. J A. Say J A C. J A C. Say J A C K. J A C K. And now is the part of the show where we go to some viewer mail. F L A P J A C K S with the butter on top with the butter on F L A P J A C K. Yes, put the butter on top with the butter on it. F L A P J C K Yes, put the butter on top with the butter on it. F L A P J C K Yes, put the butter on top with the butter on it. Flapjack, can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks, can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks, can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Flapjacks, can I have another? Can I have another one, please? Can I have another one, please? And can I have another one, please? So we've got Abby and Lynn from the Terre Haute Children's Museum. What are we going to be doing today, guys? Well, we're going to do some experiments with food. It's food day, right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yep. Um, our first experiment is something that you can do at home with items that you have in your kitchen. Um, you just need an egg and vinegar, mm -hmm. um, and it takes overnight to do. Um, we did this one overnight, and then this is one that we just started. Um, you can see all the bubbles forming. Oh, You put cool. a raw egg inside vinegar, and the vinegar will eat away at the shell. What? And if you want to take this one out, we've got some paper Oh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, let me lay one of these down just in case it... You're going to smell like vinegar, but... You That's know. all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's worth it. Oh, it's That's slimy. Right. Yep, it's, it's slimy. It's very... <laughs> it's slimy. <laughs> it is slimy. Oh, my goodness. Wait, but, so what happened? So the shell just came yeah. off yeah, from the yeah. vinegar? The, a, the vinegar will... Uh, It'll pretty much eat the shell off and it'll just uh, leave the membrane. So you can bounce it? Yep. Can bounce it? Yeah, it'll bounce. Yeah, there it's it is. It's a ball! Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So you can bounce around. It's like these are eggs that we just had in the fridge and they were actually past the sell by date and we were like, well, why not do, do an experiment? Fun. Yeah, exactly. So you've got some, some eggs in your fridge that you're not able to use anymore. You could actually still use it as an experiment with your kids. And, that's really and neat. Yeah. My hands are really gross, but yes, that's super are. cool. So, yeah. Very excited about that. What's next? Um, the next is Ooh. an experiment you can do with some leftover candy after um, Halloween. Um, right. to teach, Coming up. Teach science um, to, your, to your kids. 
Um, we have four different kinds of candy bars, and we're going to do a, a density <laughs> experiment with them. Um, and we'll see, do you think they're all going to float or do you think they're going to sink? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. Hmm. Well, since this is an experiment, I think one of them is going to float, but I don't know which one. Okay. Right. Should we try? Sure, yeah. we can try it. Okay. Give it a shot. So we've got some different ones yeah. here. Milky Way. Uh, yeah. So you've got a Snickers. Snickers. Yep, I've got Butterfinger. And we've got a Three Musketeers. Yep. And it's also important to see how fast they fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we've got them lined up in front, so make okay. sure that we've got them. So we're gonna put, let's put the Milky Way in first. Or uh, we're gonna do three Musketeers first. We've got, I think we're all gonna try to do them all at once. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do them all at once, okay. Yeah. So what do you have? Right so let's, three Musketeers will be here, and then the Butterfinger, Butterfinger. and then the Milky Way. Yep. And you wanna six. do those two, and I'll do okay. this one, Lynn, you wanna let's do Let's do it. Nice. We'll them at the same time. One, two, three. Whoa. What happened there? <laughs> that's the Milky Way, right? Yeah. That, or that's oh, the Three Musketeers. Oh, yep. oh, my goodness. And then if you look closely, the, the Snickers is kind of floating. Oh, floating in there, too. Yeah, the those bottom. ones definitely dropped. Um, oh, wow. The Three Musketeers is actually filled with a lot of air, and so that's why it's it delicious. Floats. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cool. So if that's you're looking so for I never knew that. Yeah. a healthier option, that right. would be the one that's to the go. One. It's filled with air. And you can Good still eat the candy know. afterwards. So it's right. an experiment, <laughs> but right. we didn't ruin the candy you can't in the eat process. That, though. No, Don't do eat not the egg eat that in. That's a bad idea. What's this one? The next one we have is to test the acid inside of your candy. Um, you'll find acid in sour candies. Okay. Um, and if you think of some other experiments, um, vinegar has a lot of acid in it, and if you mix vinegar and baking soda, what happens? Explosion. It kind of explodes <laughs> and fizzes. So we've got different candies. We've got Smarties, a Warhead, Sour Patch Kids, and some Nerds mm -hmm. um, just sitting in water. And okay. we're going to put some baking soda over top of them. And the ones that fizz the most are going to be the ones that have the most acid in them. Ooh, yeah. this so, sounds like fun. <laughs> okay. So do you want to do it? OK. How you much just kind of Just kind of sprinkle it over them. OK, OK. And you can see what happens. Which ones fizzle? Good. Yeah, so you can see a little fizzling. That's yeah. a little bit, what is this yep. one again? That's the Warhead. The Warhead, the warhead. Oh, those are so there. sour. So yeah, but you can see the fizzling there. It's got a little bit of acid. And we've got this one here. Oh. Oh, what was that? Pop that Rocks? Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sour Patch, patch Sour kids. Patch Kids I made a lot knew. of fizziness. And so, like when you open up that candy, it's like the ones with a lot of acid. It's like your mouth starts salivating and yeah. you're like, oh yeah, it's sour. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> yeah. I never knew that. So we have another big yes. experiment. One more big right? experiment. Right, but we're going to move over here to do that. Right, we got we to gotta make some room I'm very here. excited, but we need some help with this. And I think Taylor has some of the stuff we need. Taylor! Did somebody order diet soda? <laughs> <laughs> we did. We Diet? did. All right. All right. I'll hold on to then. these. I'm going to move the carpet. You want to move it with me? Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. We need to make some room here. Is this a messy kind of experiment? This is a messy experiment. And so, oh, usually goodness. we try to do this one outside. Uh, but but we're not gonna do that. we don't have outside here, so oh, we're gonna. <laughs> have you? I'm really nervous. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever done this before. I Seen have it done. witnessed this one before, but like I said, usually on the outside. So we're gonna be a little daring today and uh, try this experiment on the inside. This is gonna be fun. Okay. And so, Kale, you should stand really okay, close real before quick, we start. I know, I know, I know what we're doing. What are we doing? Like, how does this work? <laughs> uh, we have diet soda, and we are going to drop Mentos inside of it. Right. Mm -hmm. And see what happens. Right. OK. And then we've created a little contraption to kind of make it so that we can get out of the way when. Oh. So you can drop the Mentos in and not get. So we have, like, a countdown. Oh, right, right, nice. right, right. We have Mentos on pipe cleaner that we can just Ooh. drop in. That's easy right. to make. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. so um, right. are you ready? Does someone else want to do it? You want to do it? I'm a little nervous. No, you, you do it. I want to be out of the way. Yeah, you're That's the what. You're the professional. <laughs> yes. All right. All right ready? ready? Where'd we go? Where'd we go? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. The lights. The lights. Should we hang on? Let me move it. Stop. Yeah. We tried. We tried to drink some of it. I can't. I don't want to get it on. Oh, my. Oh, nice. It's like a, it's like a water fountain. It is like a water fountain. So again, that like I said, so it makes scary. a bit of a mess. So I would encourage you to do this outside. But it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Do we have do we have time for one more? Do you want to try one again? Yeah. How All right. Work, Let's. Though? Yeah. Well. Yeah. How does that work? You know, there's lots of different theories about. No one really can tell you exactly why it works. It's really? like you look at different sites, and and there's different people who say different things about why this happens. If, if you know, if the mentos. Yeah. Yeah. The carbon dioxide and the shell okay. of the. Okay. 
mementos. Okay. Right, exactly. Cool. Okay. So let's pull this one back a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We've we got a hit. little bit more time, so let's try. Let's All right, let's try this one more time. Blast this thing off. Does anyone else right, want to try, try this one? You guys want to do it? Maddie, you do it. I'm okay. All right, yes. we'll get this on there. All right. Again, this is a fun one to do. do any nervous. type of diet well, soda and mentos. I wouldn't sit on your knees. Right. Just drop. I just push it in and run. Yep. Just push it in and run. Drop it in. Okay, well this goes up. Thank you guys so hey, much for thank coming you. on. This is awesome. Oh, oh. Thank you guys. All right, but food fun isn't just for humans. Check out me as I went to the dog bakery and hung out with some cool pets in this Friday Zone field trip. I got on this video. Hey guys, I'm here with my girl Olive, and we are at Three Dog Bakery in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Olive, oh, you smell that? Something smells good. Let's go check it out. Come on. All right, girl. Let's go. You ready? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Taylor. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So, uh, three dogs. This is great. How long have you been here now? We have been here for about 12 years. Okay. Actually, the three dogs that started us are Dottie, Gracie, and Sarah. So this is where the name comes from? Yes. Okay. Um, that's the three dogs. Gracie there in the middle. She uh -huh. was a deaf and blind Great Dane. Oh, um, wow. She was a very, very picky eater. So yeah. the owner handmade all of her food and all of her treats and found out there was other dogs like her. So started selling stuff out of his garage uh -huh. and then decided to open a store. All right, so these are the treats. These are the treats, um, and they're all human-grade ingredients, so if you'd like to, you could even try so one. So I can eat these, You okay? could try yeah, one. Do you guys ever uh, snack on these while you're at work? I can say that I've tried just about everything we sell. Sometimes, if she gets a little <laughs> hungry, right? Can you, uh, can you guys show us how you make these? Yeah, of course. Cool. All right, I'll, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> Hey Ellie, what you got cooking? Uh, we're gonna make some ruffles today. Okay. Um, so basically, it's like a lot like a truffle uh -huh. um, dessert, but we call them ruffles for dogs. Right, right. right. Um, no chocolate. No, right? chocolate. no chocolate. We only That's use care of. Uh, we do use applesauce Ooh, and cool. water to yeah. make the mixture. Uh -huh. uh, this particular one is carrot cake, so there is Ooh. actual carrots in there. That's my favorite. We've already pre-made the frosting. Okay. So and these are all natural ingredients. All natural, very simple. All for good dogs. things for your pups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can so I help you? Yeah, absolutely. Can I just grab some? Yeah, get in there. Okay. <laughs> and all then right. you just kind of want to like smush it together with your hands. That's awesome. So you're dipping the entire uh, cake batter ball mm -hmm. into the peanut or the coconut or the carob. Okay. And you want to make sure that it's completely covered. Okay. And then you just kind of um, roll it around in your hands to make sure it's a complete circle. I hate to ask this, but... Are you I, hungry? I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten today, guys. Should I try one? Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Three Dog Bakery. <laughs> Pretty tasty, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> not too bad. I mean, I'm sure if I were a dog, I'd be enjoying this a lot more, but I took a really big bite. I shouldn't have done that. Cool, Ellie, thank you so much for You're showing us welcome. how you guys make these. That's awesome. It's got some good flavor, huh? I think she likes it. All right. My name is Sam Bartlett. Today, we're going to do another stunt from the world of stuntology. All you need is a cup, a fork, and another fork. And then you can set up this fun game. Who says you need fancy things to have fun? This is really fun. You're going to set this little maneuver up where you're going to try to knock this fork into this cup. <laughs> that never happens the first time, but there it did, and it might happen that way for you, too. Food is my favorite. I eat all the time. In the Friday zone. 
And now time for some fun with our friends from Comedy Sports. All right, I'm Claire, that's Allie, mm -hmm. this is Ed, and today we are talking about food, and we're going to do that by playing the game of Arms Expert. Ed's going to be the arms, I'm going to be the expert. Come on over, Allie, let's get this kicked off. All right, let me host this one. So, right. so today we're talking about food. Let's get a specific kind of food. All right. So, Joelle, do you have a favorite kind of food? Pizza. Ah, awesome. Mm, she knew right away. Yes, so today we have yes. an expert here on pizza. Mm, hello, everyone. Dr. Kraft, how are you today? I'm well, and yourself? I am doing okay. Good now, enough chit-chat. Let's talk pizza. All right, we're going to answer some questions about pizza, but first, I have a question. Mm, yes. What is an anchovy? I've heard it's Ooh. a pizza topping, but I don't know what it an is. An anchovy is a teeny tiny fish that ah. is very smelly and not very good. I must say that people who choose anchovies on their pizza, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Oh, okay. An anchovy is about this size. Let's say if we pretend that this, yes, this green uh, is a bit of an anchovy. Mm, okay. Yes. Uh, with a little more of a tail on it, probably. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, just like that. That could be an anchovy on your pizza. Oh, adorable. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Yes. Okay, let's ask some uh, questions of our panel here. Yes. Does anybody have a question about pizza or how to eat it? Can you put candy on your pizza? Can you put candy, candy on your pizza? Can you put candy on your pizza? <laughs> My favorite pizza is candy pizza. What? Now, let's make the crust first. The okay. crust is, is a, you want to use a sugar cookie dough. So this, let's, oh, this is a little smaller. Oh, yes, oh, let's. Now, let's roll it into a ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll smash and uh, it will be a la, 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 and we'll roll it out, da, 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 smash it out. Yes, this will be like a personal sized pizza. Is that all right with you, my dear? All yeah. right, so there's our sugar cookie dough. Uh, we put, uh, what, how about a skittle? Do you like a skittle? Oh, excellent. Oh yes, one tiny little skittle. And perhaps a caramel piece. Uh, a green caramel piece, yes, oh, delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now you must have frosting on your pizza, yes? Oh. If it's candy pizza, let's put as much sugar on it as possible, but only in moderation. <laughs> I've heard that it's a very Italian technique to rub the frosting on your face before you put it on the pizza. It is. We often do that. And, and you know, it really calms me. It's good for the pores. Now, everyone knows when you make pizza, you must toss it into the air while singing. So let's try that. It's a technique that is it's, it's practiced. All right. It's very okay. skilled. <laughs> Just like that. And mm, let me smell. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you couldn't even help yourself. I can't wait. It's so delicious. Well, Dr. DiGiorno Kraft, thank you for coming in today. It's My been pleasure. great having My you. My pleasure, yes. And yours too, I am it assuming. Was. Good. It definitely. Mm, yeah. Well, thanks a lot. That was awesome. Mm, okay. Thank you, guys. Oh. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather and this is Felix. And we're gonna make some classy cheddar quesadillas, but I really think I need a better name for them. Ah, oh, 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 I got it, I got it, Heather. Los Brocolis in Comidos. Ooh. That was my Spanish soap opera voice. I love yeah. it, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, and that we, was good, yeah. We gave it that name yeah. because we're gonna hide a little bit of broccoli <gasps> in this because oh. not everyone likes broccoli. Wait, wait, Heather. Not everyone likes broccoli? I know, I can't imagine because I love broccoli. Yeah. And it is, what it, color? <gasps> Green. Green, my favorite, and your favorite. And my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good for you, but I think a lot of people think they won't like it, but oh. maybe if we try it this way with some cheese and yeah. some salsa. Yeah, 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 we hide it. Yeah, yeah. kind yeah, of like yeah. a quesadilla. Yeah. I and think you'd be surprised. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. hidden. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do in this bowl is I'm going to add some sh freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Um, you could use any cheese that you like, but I like cheddar. And I okay. think cheddar goes well with broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to that, I'm going to add some freshly made salsa. Oh, Not you too made hot this. either. I did. Yeah. Did you make it from your garden? I did. Oh, oh. And it's not too hot, I promise. It's okay. just right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't like the hot salsa. It burns oh, my mouth. No, yeah. no, this is very mild. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add some freshly chopped broccoli. Oh, and I oh. chopped it really small. Yeah. Oh, thank you. See, Hedda knows that I like to eat small pieces so I don't choke on them. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Now we're just going to stir this up in a bowl. Okay. Very simple. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. And we're going to take a tortilla. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put maybe a scoop right in the center. Okay. Is that where we're hiding it? It is where we're okay. hiding it. Okay. We should be very, very quiet when we, we, when we hide it in there. <laughs> Shh. And you fold it in half. 
Okay. And then we are going to put this in a warm toaster oven just oh. until it gets just slightly warm. Okay, okay. No, it doesn't have to be hard and toasted. Okay, just okay. a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's yeah. it. Oh. Actually, I'm going to put it right in the center. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the toaster. I it's, forgot about the toaster oven. It's yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, safe tool for kids who yeah. aren't old enough to use the oven yet. Right, 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 right. All right, well, Felix, I think it's time to take our special <gasps> snack out of the toaster oh, oven. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Heather, you mean... <clears throat> Los brocolis in comitos. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> I should be on a Spanish soap opera. You huh? should. You're yeah. such a good actor. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. You're good, too. You're good at so many things, Heather. <laughs> thank okay. you. Yeah. And look, this is really hot, oh, so be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a special green plate just <gasps> for you. For me? Your favorite color, and this has broccoli. <gasps> yeah, but shh. That's a secret. It's incognito. Yeah, incognito. It's a healthy snack. Yeah. It's quick. Yeah. And it's really tasty. There you go. <gasps> what do you think of that? That looks wonderful. It looks wonderful, and it was super simple to make. Yeah. Muy bueno. <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. You can write it down. Oh. Or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time with Jack. Joke time with Davy and Jack. Joke, I mean Jack. <laughs> Hey, you dad. What did dinosaurs use to make their hot dogs? I don't know. What did dinosaurs use to make their hot dogs? Jurassic Bork. All right, guys. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. <laughs>